Yo, what's up guys? It's me, El Ghost. I welcome back to El Sword. Now Damn Labby. Labby. Okay, Labby's not okay. She's fine letting me talk. Uh little disclaimer. This is not an L Sword NA. It's Void L Sword. And you can click off the video right now if you hate Void L Sword or whatever. But what's most important is I'm just trying to provide the L Sword content again like I did back in the day. Um I talk like it's been years, but but it's been pretty much a year. Like not even. Like since my last L Sword video, I guess. But it's been it's been a good year since uh, my walkthrough-ish uh L Sword videos. Anyway, with further ado, welcome to the Nisha series. We will go with the third path on Labby. And I will cover every single dungeon that has to do with Labby's exclusive uh, dungeon she has to play to reach level 99, the cap. So let's let's create a character. Uh, what should her name be? Hey, you know what? I know a good one. Ah. There you go. There. I'm, I'm being very kind, guys. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Thank you. Tarik Where Ibu 어느 것도 답을 찾지 못한 채 그저 이곳에서 천천히 천천히 미쳐갔어. 숲은 가끔 푸른 빛이 드는 것 외에는 한결같이 고요했어. 그러던 어느 날내 곁으로 작은 아이 하나가 다가왔어. 긴 시간을 혼자였던 나에게 먼저 다가와 준 그애는 마치 꿈처럼 계속 나와 함께 있어 주었어. 그렇게 우리는 친구가 되었지. 정말 행복했어. 살아온 많은 시간의 빛을 모두 더해도 그와 함께 있던 시간만큼 빛나진 않았을 거야. 나는 그 애와 함께인 이 시간이 영원하길 바랐어. 하지만 그 아이는 그 거울은 오랫동안 내 옆에 남아 나의 친구가 되어줬어. 어느 날 한동안 보이지 않았던 푸른 빛이 숲에 새어 들어왔어. 내가 숲에서 눈을 뜬 이후 딱세 번째였지. 신기하게도 숲은 첫 번째 빛을 보기 전과 비슷하게 안정되었어. 
마치 내가 처음 이곳에서 눈을 떴을 때처럼 그리고 알아차렸어 나를 잡아두던 목소리가 더는 들리지 않는다는 걸 기묘한 확신이 생겼어 이제는 이 숲을 나갈 수 있을 거라고 그렇게 나는 내 세계의 전부였던 숲을 벗어나게 된 거야 저 밖에 있을 내가 모르고 있던 세계를 기대하면서 우와! 이렇게 멀리까지 나온 건 처음이야 가슴이 막 콩콩 뛰어 여기는 하늘도 잘 보이고 내가 있던 저기 안쪽 숲보다 훨씬 많네 시, 어? 저긴 엄청 반짝반짝하다 저기 저쪽으로 가보자 All right, finally getting to <laughs> to the action of the game, or somewhat the action, I guess. By the way, disclaimer: um, after this um, tutorial level, I will not go over everything of the story. I feel. That that's what the series is not about per se, but if I just recommend that you guys play through it yourself, re get to know the story, read through it, and enjoy it, and and that that's pretty much my incentive to tell you to play the game. I just show you the levels and what to do with them, uh, what you can expect, and etc. Anyway, let's go. Get some baddies. So we have two skills here, Inner Aurora, which is our buff, uh, we will be using that for pretty much the whole remainder of this, uh, of this playthrough, and we have Andromeda, which, well, dodges danger, pretty much, if you get comboed. So guys, I will go over uh, more of the um, combat and such. Right now, I want to take you to the new map we're at. Welcome to Labby's Imaginary World. Um, basically, the hub for pretty much from level 5 or whatever level you get. Uh, for Void, it might be a little different because of Void buffs. For NA, I assume you'll reach level 2 or 3. Uh, from that level onward to level 99, all the way to level 99, this will be your main hub. So right here, we got the Spring of Memory. Uh, for some quests, uh, job advancements and such, you need to talk to this uh, Spring of Memory. Spring of Memory, jeez, I can't speak. Um, over here, right now we don't have access to it, but here will be the Alchemist. Alchemist, you can buy potions, etc. that you need, and maybe you can craft some food items as well. Um, I don't think that there is... I don't think that there is actually a uh, craftable food item inside of Lavi's Imaginary World, so I may be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure the levels we'll play will give you the food item directly instead of that you have to craft them with say aquas and etc. So right over here would be the bank I'm pretty sure. This is where um, 
Not Ariel, but Luriel, is that her name? Yeah, Luriel would be. Here you got the mailbox. This guy is a event uh, thing, so ignore him for now. Um, and then if we go up here, into the tree, we have our accessory shop. You likely are not going to come here. You don't need this. Just take my advice on it. And if you do, if you're searching for it, well, there you go. Now you know where it is. And this is where the exit would be. But if we try... 99 LV or higher requir required to enter. So we cannot leave. Also, phone. Shut up. All right. So, um... So like I said guys, I will not go over the story and everything that's tied to these dungeons. Basically, if you're if you're new to L Sword or if you're like a subscriber and you're interested in like playing the game, um, please check it out, read the story. It's it's like in my opinion, I played through everything in Livy's story and I read it, I I read some backstory on it and it is it's pretty wild. It's pretty good. I think KOG did a good job regarding Labby's whole scenario here. Anyway, so, let's get to the dungeon, shall we? Alright, so, we are in the outer edge of Black Forest, and, well, this is where it all begins. So, uh, I will go over the enemies uh, on the side, um, as you can see right now in the video. And I will talk um, about her skills. So, uh, we got Inner Aurora, which is our buff, which increases our physical and magical by 10% for a duration of 20 seconds. It also does some burst damage if you use it to, let's say, an enemy, which is like that. <laughs> oh, and this guy, um, he should also have uh, been shown on the, on the side, if I don't forget to edit it, but pretty sure I won't. Uh, he's uh, one of the more tricky uh, enemies. So, with that said, I will show you a skill that I have been using as of late on um, my, let's say, my other uh, labby character. And it's called Super Suplen. And Suplen is heavily underestimated in my opinion, because look. That's what it does, but you may not see it directly, but it does splash damage. Yes. And what that means is, if enemies are closer to each other, let's say I, I was grouping these three and I use Suplen, then they would all they would all take this big big hit. Oh. Let me not get hit by his chomp there. Uh, they would all get hit for 3,582% of my physical attack power. That's pretty big. So anyway, and I already went over what... Wait, no, it is not. Anyway, this is the boss! Sumyu! Uh, yeah, this dungeon is really short, so I could not really go over everything that I wanted to talk about. Ah. Yep, that's also his move. Oh, he's gonna charge now. Let me just do this. Oh, he doesn't charge all the way. I have not really oh, fought this guy enough to know what exactly he does, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's do Suplen. See how much damage that does. It's crazy, man. I tell you, Suplen is heavily underestimated. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next dungeon. Alright guys, welcome to East Laurentian Port, the second Labby exclusive dungeon. Um, pretty... <laughs> it's like these dungeons in the beginning are so dang easy, I don't really need to say much. These enemies are basic as they can get. They only have one move that I'm aware of at least, and that's pretty much all there is to say to these guys. So... Um, I want to say something real quick, uh, even though I'm playing on Void, I will try to av avoid <laughs> um, using like Void exclusive things, uh, 
in the beginning at least to these uh, dungeons so I don't have like a huge advantage or anything. I really want to show you uh, how it is to approach these dungeons with the gear you should have at that point without any, you know, void boost or whatever in case you were playing on uh, any official server because yeah, you wouldn't get these bonus things that I would be getting. But um, yeah, I moved to void thanks to a certain person, I guess. Um, anyway, we got the random mission done. Um, yeah, on Void there's an event going on right now. Summer event is crazy good. Um, it has random mission plus 100%. Also, I didn't go over our new skill, it's called Oi, and it's really funny. You just picked up an enemy and you throw him down. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, I think it's used for PvP, but I'm not sure. Meet Molitor, the second boss. Molitor is quite an interesting little uh, little guy, or big guy, should I say? He's made of little guys, so I guess it makes somewhat sense. Can I pick him up? Yeah. <laughs> I can pick him. I kn I didn't know I could pick him up. Oh my god, that looked silly as hell. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, we got a nice level up from that, and man. Let me just exit the dungeon real quick. So, um, that will be all for this video. I'm probably going to cover about two dungeons each video. So I'll make a steady progression uh, as I go along. Um, anything else I need to say? Oh yeah, guys, read my name. Read my name. If you like this video, subscribe please. That would be great. And, um, well... I hope you guys uh, like the new designs and everything. I'm tr I'm really trying to make this as high quality as possible and entertaining as possible. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or some advice, maybe who knows? I'm I'm still I'm still like a low level YouTuber, I guess. You can give me advice. Just let me know uh, what you like or don't like, and I might approve as we go along. How about that? Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.